Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to our fifth session of the Biblical Finance Intensive course. We are delighted to have you here with us. Our class has begun, so let's press play. That is absolutely awesome. It's fantastic that you are here joining me on this wonderful day. So please type in the chat and let me know where you're from and where you currently live. I am eager to see your response and confirm your presence. Where do you live? Yeah, yeah, send me a message now. Yes, I'm here. Yes, I want to turn. How good, how pleasant it is to have you here with me today. Welcome, welcome to our fifth session of the Biblical Finance Intensive Program. Utilize the play button as we are on the verge of commencing our fifth class of this highly intensive course. Indeed, we are already on the third day of this live and direct intensive class, which consistently takes place at two distinct times. It is crucial to bear in mind that this is merely a warm up for the second stage, which is the Christian week I control my finances, and it will commence on the upcoming Thursday. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. On the following Thursday, we will initiate our Christian week without a doubt, without a doubt, without a doubt. Currently, we are in the initial stage consisting of a series of 21 live classes encompassing a wealth of valuable information on financial matters from a biblical perspective. The classes of the initial stage will occur daily over the course of the upcoming 10 days and in the subsequent few days they will be held at two different times. So then you will miss me. I will not be around here any longer. I will no longer be present in this location. So enjoy be extremely dedicated be extremely committed to your financial transformation and where are the individuals who are extremely committed please write to me in the chat i am extremely committed extremely committed yeah i am checking here because we have a large amount i mean a large amount of content in this biblical finance crash course on a daily basis, our team sends the access links for the day's classes in the intensive WhatsApp groups that we have established for this purpose. If you are not already a member of any of the WhatsApp groups, please join one of them, okay? You simply need to join a single group, all right? How do you manage to get in? Because you can communicate like that, but doctor, I am not a member of any WhatsApp group. So you will have access to the link that is down here in the description of this video. You will compose your email and on the subsequent page, the link will become visible for you to become a member of one of the groups, all right? You just have to be part of one. I emphasize this because it's important. You can talk, but doctor, when I signed up, I saw that there were 28 classes and now there are only 21. Observe, the seven most exceptional classes will be designated for the second stage of our course, which will be the practical hands-on stage of the learning process. And why should you go to work? Because I will give you support materials that include exercises for you to practice hands-on and enhance your skills. In addition, we will provide you with an exclusive Facebook community where you can post your workouts and my team and I will be able to follow your progress. And all of this is going to be free of charge for those who signed up for the event and are extremely committed here with me. You know, okay, right? And let's remember that the goal of the intensive is to bring you a complete rich content so that you can be obedient to God in your finances. With that, having your finances under control, ensuring you have extra money and starting to invest to make God's dreams come true in your life. It doesn't matter if you have debts today or not. You'll see how it's possible to get out of all of them. And who wants this? Contact me in the chat. I desire to be submissive to God in my financial matters. I would like to present you with the example of Yelma so that you can observe the case of Yelma, which demonstrates that it is indeed feasible to become debt free and never have to borrow money again. Please take a look at the Yelma case as it holds great significance for your construction project. I'm Haima, a hairdresser. Living, praying, and asking God for a solution, a way out. Because of my work commitments, I am busy all day, individuals from Monday to Saturday, without any breaks. From 7 in the morning until 10, 11 o'clock at night. And when the end of the month came, I didn't have a single penny left. I used to reside in order to settle outstanding debts, in order to settle outstanding bills. I have always had a dream of renovating my house. 
but then I did not have any extra money. So I was consistently in pursuit of a loan that had lower interest rates, which does not exist in reality. While browsing Facebook, I found the page, I watched the first three classes, and that started changing my mind. For two months now, I've been able to manage my money, control my finances. I keep track of what comes in and what goes out. I've always been a bit clueless when it comes to dealing with banks, but I've already opened accounts with two digital banks and three brokerage firms. I've made three investments so far, and currently I'm only using one brokerage. I've invested in one thing, made three investments, and I'm going to renovate my house without needing to take out a loan. In other terms, you will not require to accumulate debt any longer in order to actualize your aspirations. Yeah, I'm aware that this is what God wants in your life. And that's my aim here with you, that you're participating in this intensive program. I would like to meet you, investor. I have a strong desire for you to make your dreams come true in your life. Who is in need of this? Certainly. Contact me in the chat. I want to examine this. Who is with me? Yes, include me. Yes, I have the desire to become an investor. That is truly awesome. Look, this is extremely important. In order for all of this to happen, you need to start having a real and profound financial awakening. Yeah, it is a shift in mindset. I am here to remind you of the importance of having a metanoia, which is a transformative change of heart and mind. Let's proceed to the word of God. Recall the content of Proverbs 4 verse 23 in our minds. Be careful with what you think, because your life is guided by your thoughts. In your financial life, it is your thoughts that give rise to the successes you achieve and the results that you experience. The funds you presently have are a result of that. Just as you perceive, you exist in the way you think you do. This is truly intense. That is truly strong. I reiterate, just like you believe you are, correct? And if you want to improve your financial life, you want to live the promises that God has for your life and make your dreams come true, you will need to know how to manage your finances and start thinking differently. Yes or yes? Yes. But we know that it's impossible to change your behavior to thrive if you don't go through a metanoia. What is a metanoia? It is a mindset shift. So if I were you, I would fully commit and not miss any class because they are all like a continuation and they will be aired this week, which is crucial for your understanding of the subject matter and your overall academic success. Yeah, yeah, there are numerous classes and all of them from this week are going to be broadcasted. So in the event that I were you, I would not miss any class. And I consistently express that there are three types of individuals here. The curious ones are the ones who come to take a look at the classes. However, they do not commit. They simply possess the knowledge of how to complain without making any changes to their financial situations. If they keep complaining, they're not going to change. The committed ones are those who even attend most of the classes, but they don't apply it and just keep that knowledge to themselves. However, the individuals who are truly going to make a significant change, transforming their finances, are the highly committed ones who diligently attend all the classes, actively put into practice what they learn, and as devout Christians, generously share that valuable knowledge with a larger number of people. And sharing is exceedingly Christian. And they commence pondering about recognizing, take note, two highly commendable elements that are evident in this particular scenario. I have to give credit to the super committed. We have a free certificate for all participants at this event until the end of the event. That's awesome. At the end of class, I'm going to release the class attendance list. It's crucial you stay till the end. And why is it important for you to put your name on the list? Participants in all classes can compete for a $1.200 transfer discussed at the conclusion of the event at the end of the Biblical Finance Intensive Program I will talk about. However, it is not sufficient to merely participate. It is crucial to bestow this identical knowledge upon other individuals. And we developed a mechanism to ascertain the identities of those individuals who are bestowing the most blessings upon others in order to find out who they are.
Yes, you'll be able to invite people to participate in the event. Yes, you'll be able to have access to a special link just for your invitation. And when people sign up through your link, you'll get points. And these points will give you the right to unlock exclusive content. And how are you going to get your link and send it and bless more people? How? Access the link cristalrico.com invitation bar, okay? Write down your email address. After that, you will access a screen for you to copy your referral link, okay? Our objective is to reach over 2 million people with this free course exceeding our initial goal. And it will only be possible with your support, okay? Now then, our topic today, where are the super committed ones? Are you guys here? Look, our topic today is about debts. Having your finances under control and never having debts again is very important. And it's a mission, yes, to get out of debt so they never come back again. So the special topic is about debts. And there are questions about this topic that are important here, you know, questions that people ask me. Is it possible to manage your finances and avoid any debts? Do you believe I am capable of accomplishing it? People ask, doctor, I want to take control of my finances and I want to be debt free. Is it possible for me? And that is one of the questions I receive the most on social media. Look, actually, when it comes to debts, the one that most people inquire about is how to eliminate debt. It's the most common question. So they ask me, doctor, I have an unpayable debt. Is it possible to get out of this debt? And in today's class, I will show you within the Bible the answer to this. And ultimately, I will also provide concrete evidence that what the Bible states actually produces tangible results in real life situations. If it's real, it's true that it's in the word. So do you believe in the Bible after all? Is the Bible effective in your country? If the Bible is effective in your country, then what I'm going to talk about here is relevant and applicable to you. Okay. However, if what is in the Bible is not intended for you, then the class that is taking place today is not meant for you. However, if what is in the Bible is for you, then today's class is for you. And remember the contents of the Bible. Refer to your Bible in John 8, 32. It states like this. You will have knowledge of the truth and the truth will emancipate you. One more, another one, John 14, 6. Yeah, that's precisely how it was. No doubt about it. Jesus expressed, I am the pathway, the veracity and the existence. Kindly have a look. Take a closer look at the significance of truth and the utmost importance of clarity in our lives. Let's ascertain the truth to extricate ourselves from debt and have our finances under control in order to possess extra money and fulfill the dreams that God has for our lives. Thus, stay here with me, pay close attention, and savor the experience of sharing this class in the present moment. Share it with all the people you know, okay? Firstly, a highly significant thing. Many individuals have been concerned about their previous debts and the debts they are presently acquiring. So send it to all individuals at this moment regarding this class, because I am aware that there are a large number of individuals who are in need of hearing these words from our class today. OK. Something extremely important here. Now, I must inform you of what the Bible states regarding debts in order to provide you with the genuine information about the content of our class for today. All right. Look, when you grasp the biblical truth concerning this matter, the matter of debts, it's as if the blinders are taken off your eyes and you witness a completely new and different reality altogether. And that is what I am going to discuss with you today, similar to something you did not perceive and now you do. So my prayer today, I expressed a tremendously strong prayer during the class that was held earlier in the day. It's for you to open your eyes to what I'm going to tell you here. That's really important. And I'm here receiving a lot of testimonials from people who are really blown away by these financial metanoi classes. We are currently in class five. It is the third day of our intensive biblical finance program. And that just confirms to me that God is blessing this project more and more here every single day. Because we're talking about the word of God. If in the warm up of Christian week, he's already making moves, God is really working in people's hearts. Can you imagine when we go to practice there at the event? Yes, I participated in the Christian hands-on week, but as the saying goes, to the same degree, the TED event will also incur charges. Yes, the content here will also be charged for this content. 
So they have no clue about the pace at which me and the team are working every day here to be able to deliver all that free content to you here. There is a multitude of individuals working on a daily basis. Who has the ability to see my presence on social media? You know, I am just teaching classes, but I also handle debt collection as I am a lawyer. Additionally, I take care of my students being a mother of two children. Furthermore, I have a partner, a house, and so on and so forth. I am a daughter of God too, yes, yes, or yes. And why am I telling you this? Why? To inspire you to do what needs to be done, no matter the excuses you've given yourself. I could have a million excuses for not being here today, but I am present. And you also shouldn't care about the excuses that I could have. And in the last few classes, I've already shattered several beliefs that were hindering your progress towards living a life of true prosperity. I already showed you how the rich think, and all of it is based on many words from God, which is what one believes here. Yes, many individuals inquire, doctor, which finance book should I read to acquire more knowledge on that subject? Yeah, yeah, you want to know just one book? And my response is consistently the same, always the same. Read the Bible. It is my go-to recommendation. You have everything you need. You must read the Bible, the Word of God. It is essential for your spiritual growth. There is a great deal of content over there. If you believe in the Bible, you have to follow it. I've read several books on finance, and let me tell you that the Bible, yes, is the best finance book there is when put into practice. So let's see what the Bible tells us about debts. And if you do not have any debts, stay with me here as well, because this learning will help you a lot in your financial transformation, even if you do not have debt, because it is not only useful for those who have debts, but also for those who do not, because it is a learning about the Bible, about the word of God. Do you want to know this? Yes, yes, or yes, write to me in the chat. Yeah, I'm down for it. I'm here. I want to learn. I got financial peace. Where can the individuals be found who desire to achieve financial peace? I possess financial peace indeed, indeed. And this content will help you never have debt. And if today you have so that you never have debt again, okay? I am going to take a short break here. Please remember that our intensive biblical finance in this initial stage of 21 classes is merely a warm-up, a preparation for the second stage of the intensive, which is a significant event, the largest finance event for Christians. What is upcoming? It is regarding the Christian week titled, I Control My Finances, Hands on Work, which comprise of four master classes in addition to three reinforcement classes. If you have not registered yet for free, please visit the link provided below this video and sign up now for free immediately after this class ends. There I will show you the path of the stones so that you can have your finances under control in 60 days about money and investing to make God's dreams come true in your life. It is free of charge, but you need to sign up. So after our class, take a look at the button located down here below this video and sign up for free, okay? Let's move forward. What does the Bible say about debts? The biblical perspective on debt is very clear. Examine the content of the initial section of Romans 13.8. Team members, please enter Romans 13.8 into the chat at this moment, as it is stated as follows. You do not owe anyone anything. The perspective is extremely clear in the Bible, correct, isn't it? In Proverbs 22, verse 7, we learn why the Lord speaks so directly about debts, which is explained in this particular way. Take a look at Proverbs 22, 7, which states that the poor are controlled by the rich and someone who borrows money becomes a servant to the lender, emphasizing the power dynamics between borrowers and lenders. Yes, it's in the Bible. Look, when we're in debt, we put ourselves in the position of slaves, of servants in relation to whoever lent us money. In this manner, we lack the freedom or option to determine where we will allocate our earnings. Since we have already made a legal obligation to repay these financial obligations. Yes or yes, you do not have greater freedom. You do not have a larger range of options to determine where our subsequent earnings are allocated. The reality is that God does not desire to be tied down or limited in any way, shape or form. 
This is the genuine article. God desires you to be liberated in order to worship him. Do you understand? The complete plan of redemption achieved on the cross was to ensure our freedom and liberation from all forms of slavery and bondage and not slaves to anyone. There are a lot of people who refuse financial education, ignoring the biblical advice on finances because they believe that taking care of finances will make them rich and won't get them to heaven. Uh, I have to be poor because the rich do not go to heaven. And I believe in the concept of heavenly rewards. Apologies, where is it located? This is mentioned in the Bible, is it not? However, in actuality, these individuals are enslaved by money. They no longer have the freedom to fulfill their calling in Christ, to keep chasing after money as they once did before. Because they don't know how to handle it, how to handle money. And many of them end up, yes, in debt because of that. However, I want you to comprehend, observe, I am present, direct your focus here. All right? I desire for you to grasp this. It is extremely powerful content. Don't look at the chat right now. Have patience. Patience is a fruit of the spirit. Where are the super dedicated from? I know you're restless right now, but take a look at this immediately. Here I want you to comprehend this, that God desires you to be liberated to worship him, only him. He does not want you to be anyone's servant who also lent you something. Let us go to the Bible now. Refer to 1 Corinthians 7.23. In this passage, Pablo emphasizes that believers should not allow themselves to be enslaved by human masters as they have been purchased at a great cost. Observe, the sacrifice of redemption was also carried out to ensure that you never become a slave to the burden of debts. God desires your freedom in all aspects so that you may exclusively dedicate yourself to serving him. Yes, this is genuinely crucial. Please listen carefully. In the Old Testament, one of the severe consequences for disobeying God was the burden of debts. Were you aware of this fact? Clearly, indebtedness was one of the curses imposed as a consequence of disobedience. Take a look at how it is described in the Bible. So all of these curses will come upon you and overtake you. He will lend to you, but you will not have the ability to lend to him in return. And the opposite occurs when we obey God. Pay attention, God, pronoun 28, 1, 2, 12 says, if you listen attentively to Jehovah your God and ensure to obey all his commandments that I am informing you of today, Jehovah your God will elevate you above all the nations of the earth and exalt you to a position of prominence and authority. If you pay attention to the voice of the Lord your God, they will come, yes, they will come upon you. And all those blessings will be bestowed upon you in abundance. If you do not have debts, you will lend to many, but you will not borrow. Please investigate this matter. You transform into a creditor. I will reiterate that because it is of utmost importance. You become a creditor, not a debtor, which is a crucial distinction to make. Who wants to become a creditor here? An investor. Please write in the chat at this moment. I have a strong desire. I want to be an investor. I want to have financial peace, be obedient to God and achieve my goals. Yes, definitely. Can't wait. Come on, let's go. Come on. Today's topic is crucial for your transformation. To have a change of mindset, you got to have this really clear in your mind today. Therefore, we can draw the conclusion that debt is a direct result of our failure to obey God in relation to the financial principles outlined in the Bible. Yes, and one of the contradictions of entering into debt is that when we assume debt, we are making assumptions that can have significant implications for our financial well-being. What are you planning for tomorrow? You understand? Yeah? I do not know if this was released today, your case for today. Look, however, when I lacked financial discipline, I would impulsively spend funds relying on my upcoming paycheck that was anticipated to be credited in the following month. Isn't that the case for you as well? Yeah. When do you spend it beforehand? So do you make a purchase of passive items or incur any expenses depending on what you're still going to receive in the future? That is complete and utter nonsense. This is definitely not obedience to the commands and teachings of God. 
And the Bible tells us in James 4, 13 and 15 that, listen to this, very important. Now look at your Bible team, put it in the chat now. James 4, 13, 15. Kindly take a moment to look at your Bible now, if you would, please. In this class, there's lots of content with enthusiasm. Let's go, let's go. In class today, right? Look, the Bible states it as follows, James 4.13. Pay attention to me now, you individuals who declare, today or tomorrow we will travel to the city of so-and-so, and and there we will stay for a year, and we will engage in discussions and generate profits. You all do not know what is going to happen in the future. What is happening with your life? You all are similar to fog, which emerges for a brief period and then disperses. Instead of that, you should say, if it is God's will, not only will we be alive, but we will also accomplish this or that task. Yes? So the act of getting into debt may seem like a declaration of independence from God because we tend to assume that everything will remain the same or that even God will bestow blessings upon me. Isn't that right? It is a guess. And that is the reason why I am going to manage to pay off this debt. And that is a significant mistake for a Christian. A mere guess about what is going to happen tomorrow without any certainty or factual basis for prediction. And I spend money counting on what I'm going to receive, anticipating a future outcome. There's a crisis, a pandemic, or something of that nature, an unforeseen event that I am not fully aware of or informed about. And you lose your employment, for example. And what are you up to? Your plans have not been successful. I even believe that if you commit part of your income to invest in something that will bear fruit to fulfill God's purposes, yes, he honors them. Of course, yes, because it's an investment. It is an investment he is making in God's purpose, in obedience to what is written in God's word. However, when you accumulate a debt, you have the potential to hinder God's ability to intervene and miss out on the opportunity for his divine intervention. Have you considered that? Yes. Look, I'm going to provide you with an example. You were present at the bank and you assume a debt because you desire to accomplish this manually. But at this moment, you are depriving the chance for God to intervene, to carry out a miraculous occurrence in your existence. Since you are fulfilling your part and God unfailingly fulfills his part in all circumstances. God never fails. Have you ever thought about that? This is the thing. This is a really special thing. Very important that you need to have clarity on today. If you have been a good and faithful servant in your finances and yet you are still lacking the necessary resources to fulfill God's purposes. Now I strongly encourage you to cry out to God and you will witness the miraculous intervention that is going to happen in your life. Because you're being a good and faithful servant in your finances. You're doing your part. Make a call to God and say, Lord, I need this appeal to fulfill your purpose and carry out your divine plan as intended. Because I know you desire this for my life, but I do not want to request a loan because I know it is contrary to your promise. Create your own miracle. Thus, in this scenario, you will witness God actively working in your life. But this time, the individual is taking action in accordance with the will of God. And on occasion, it will manifest by bestowing upon you, for instance, a credit card or an item that you hadn't even considered attainable during that particular juncture. Yes, it is a miracle. It is something I did not expect. Sometimes he is going to send his own resource. The reality is that when your desire is aligned with the purpose of God, you cry out to him and somehow, in one way or another, it is going to happen. Yes or yes? Do you believe in that? Write in the chat now. Yeah, I reckon. Where are the super committed ones? Where are they? Yes. Look at where the super committed ones are. Hit me up in the chat right now. I am extremely dedicated, extremely dedicated. I have a strong belief. Yes, I definitely reckon so without a doubt. It's amazing how good this same thing, how good it is. And listen, I'm going to tell you something really important at this moment. The truth is, I believe it is God's purpose for you to be here, acquiring knowledge about financial education, about the rock, which represents the word of God. For a certain reason, for a specific moment, God has brought you to this place. Yes, but when will I have the opportunity to owe some money? It is a question that some individuals inquire of me. 
When, doctor, I have acquired this, the Bible does not precisely inform us when we should be obliged to. The Bible does not offer us an answer. Ah, you can owe it this way or that way, but it is a fact that numerous companies achieve growth by utilizing capital from external sources, correct? If you are an entrepreneur, you are a freelancer, you can grow with other people's money, why not? This is a type of business leverage, correct? You know? And look, I am going to inform you now regarding my viewpoint. I have a great deal of knowledge about the subject. And my viewpoint is when it comes to your personal life, you should not request loans unless that is clearly a purpose ordained by God. And if you're going to do that, make sure to pay for it. Yeah. Furthermore, there are also a lot of people who ask me on Instagram live, on social media, how to get out of debt and seek guidance in overcoming their financial obligations. And I'm going to show that step by step. Let's get down to business in practice to get out of debt. I am going to discuss this as well at the workshop we will have during Christian week. But here in the financial metanoia, in this intensive warming, you will also gain a lot of knowledge about that. But during Holy Week, we're going to get down to business. Let's start working with the support materials and exercises, right? And if you have a debt today in your personal life, I have something to tell you. Like several of my students in my mentoring program who completed the full program, I control my finances. You have seen in the classes countless testimonials, real life stories of people who went through my mentoring and managed to get out of debt in just 60 days. It is God who is actively working according to the obedience of these individuals. I do not do this alone. God is involved in this project. It is an act of obedience to the word of God. If you have faith in the Bible when it is obedient to the word, this is what occurs. If you are a businessman, there might be occasions when loans are required for the expansion of your company. Expansion? Why not? In spite of that, what should you do? You need to pray and consult with God to determine if this is the right way to proceed. Please pay attention to this. You should always pray and confirm with God. You should always have a sense of relief in your attitudes, in your actions. Your thoughts are the driving force behind your actions and ultimately determine the outcomes you achieve. It is your case in the event that you are a businessman, a freelancer, or a self-employed professional, it is crucial to pay attention to these three points regarding loans. First, the loan will be invested in something capable of generating a new income for the company. It's an asset that will put more money in your pocket, or it's a liability that will take money out of your pocket. Can you recollect the previous class? I mentioned assets and liabilities in class four during our discussion. The second point refers to the market value, specifically point two. This is the numerical representation of point number two in the context being discussed. The market value of the item you plan to purchase is greater than the value you intend to borrow. Can you use your billing to pay off the debt? Yes, you can. And please take a look at this. Now the alert remains. Avoid any traps to avoid paying your debts if you have the means to pay. And this happens to many people. I can pay, but I am not going. That is not biblical. Do you remember about this, about that? You must have Christian commitment, man. If you possess the resources to repay your debts, you ought to undertake this. See Proverbs 3, 27, 28. Team, share it in chat. Proverbs 3, 27, 28. Observe how it is in the Bible. Also, I want to tell you something that you're mentioned in the word of God. If you are in a desperate situation with debts, I have something that may profoundly touch your heart. Look, there is no eternal death. There is not any. Death prescribes. The death of men expires. The debts of men come to an end. Do you have the correct information for your case? Oftentimes, you do not possess the necessary information and find yourself in a state of desperation due to the burden of debts. There are no debts that cannot be paid for which you cannot find a solution. I have handled all the cases about which you have no knowledge or understanding. I am uncertain if you are aware, but I have a degree in economics and law as well. Furthermore, I am a lawyer and also specialize in debt law as an expert. 
Yeah. So imagine the cases that have already been presented to me are thousands and thousands of cases. Why is your case so different? However, if you are simply following me, hoping that I will provide you with a magical hint in order to avoid paying the debt today, I must inform you that you are in the incorrect location. Because I'm a Christian, I value accurate information more. The information as Christian as it is in the word of God. However, I am knowledgeable in providing guidance on negotiating a debt in a fair manner to help you avoid paying exorbitant interest rates. This will ensure that you pay the appropriate amount and only what you can afford towards resolving your debt. I mentor numerous students for that. However, now you have the ability to speak. However, doctor, should I utilize all my savings to pay off debts? Observe, it is an exceedingly unique question. Give your full attention at this moment. And the response is negative. No, not exactly. What do you have to do? You have to get your finances in order so you can honor your debts and commitments as well. In a moment of crisis, for example, it's time for protection. A crisis can happen in your life. You never know what can happen tomorrow. Well, at certain times, there is a higher level of insensitivity in the market during moments of crisis. But there is also a chance to settle outstanding debts with lower interest rates on credit cards, which can be advantageous for borrowers. You must ascertain whether the opportunity is genuine or counterfeit in order to make an informed decision about it. You have to comprehend the circumstances unfolding in the current situation. If you deplete all of your available resources by settling a debt, it is absolutely certain that you will be compelled to incur a new debt without any doubt whatsoever. Just another debt, yes? And that's why having your finances under control is so important. It is also what I teach my mentees, and it is what I will teach you in the Christian week. I have control over my finances. I am hands-on with the works, incorporating exercise and practical activity. We will have a lot of opportunities and reinforcement classrooms, right? And how to be faithful in the little things. It's something I teach my mentees. And I'll talk about it at the Christian week. How to ensure you have extra money and keep your finances under control in just 60 days? Will I discuss a financial route with you? Do you want the step-by-step? -step? I'm going to break it down step-by-step. -step. And if you have just arrived to the class, if there are some individuals coming in, like I told you before, to inspire you, we have videos of people who got rid of their debts and became investors, which can serve as a source of motivation for you. If it is possible for them, it is possible for you as well. However, doctor, why is that? Why do you possess these videos? And it is something very important. Take a look at this. And I need to talk to you about this immediately today. I don't have any openings for my mentorship. I don't have any. If you want to join my mentoring today, I don't have any openings. No, it's not possible because I have my students today. And when the job openings are available, there are always fewer vacancies than demand. I provide a lot of valuable content for free here to help more and more people as much as possible. God is the one in charge of this project here. There are a ton of free classes. You have to check them all. And I would like you to see these testimonials in order to provide an answer to you. You can check the question from today's class that I asked when we were starting in this class. Please take a look. Certainly, it is definitely possible to eliminate debt. There is no such thing as permanent debt. I want to hang out with you right now. You got to have a change of mindset. My debt is totally unpayable. No, there is no debt that cannot be paid and doesn't have a solution. Please make sure to record that and find peace of mind. Do you want to have financial peace? Yes. Begin making this statement. I possess financial peace. Commence your transformation. Let us begin with your mindset change and your metanoia. There are individuals whose biggest fear is having their name in credit agencies and financial institutions deliberately do it to torment and cause distress to people. Yeah, they know about this. That's why I'm going to give you a golden piece of advice here. Who wants a golden tip? Yes, hit me up in the chat. I desire. If you don't want to, I won't talk. But if many people write in the chat that they want to, I will engage in conversation. Do you have any valuable advice or tips for managing debts? If you want, please feel free to share your thoughts in the chat. Your input and insights are highly appreciated. 
I desire. Therefore, I am going to communicate at this location. Observe. I perceive that a large number of individuals are descending further into financial obligations due to the apprehension of their name being included in credit agencies. They are afraid of their debts being recorded by a notary in court as it can have negative legal consequences for them. And that's what's going on with you, right? Are you scared? Does fear confront you? And that is the reason why he takes actions to avoid acquiring debts due to fear. Furthermore, the banks and lenders take advantage of this vulnerability to push for more financing on top of existing financing, leading to a continuous cycle of accumulating debts and confessions of debts, causing the debt to multiply and become an unstoppable snowball that never ceases to grow. So the first piece of advice I'm giving you today, not only the first one, but one of the most special ones, a golden piece of advice here is look, don't be afraid to have your name in credit agencies. Do not be scared. Do not let fear guide you. Trust yourself, stay strong, and never give up hope. You must ensure you have your finances under control. This, this must be your primary focus. In a sense, feeling scared, I refer to it as a safeguarded designation in the event that it occurs. Being a symptom, it is not the annoyance you currently have. Credit agencies are just registries that provide protection and safeguards, ensuring you don't sink into new debts and financial troubles. You have a sibling, which is the absence of control over your finances. Do you comprehend it? Yes. Occasionally, depending on your particular circumstances, your financial position, the most favorable outcome that you can experience is to have your name included in one of these agencies. Yes. What is the deal, doctor? Yeah, look, look, I have to discuss something very serious at this moment because that will compel you to create new... That will force you to incur new debts if you don't have this. And then, of course, you'll need to get a better handle on your debts so you have some extra cash because you ain't going to be able to take out any more loans. Uh, doctor, the Bible states that a good name is more valuable than many riches. Yes, of course, but you need to understand what's in the Bible, you know? Team, insert number seven at this moment, Proverbs 22, 1, 7. Additionally, in Ecclesiastes 7, 11, which is stated as follows, yes, that is indeed true. But in this case, the Bible is talking about legacy. Having a good name is leaving a legacy. It is about fulfilling the purposes that God has for your life, you know? Make sure to fix that in your mind. You possess that financial metanoia. It is having a legacy. It is about being an individual who obeys the commands of God. So what the Bible says has nothing to do with your track record. Regardless, this does not imply that you should remain so calm. If your name is listed with the credit agencies, the answer is no. No, definitely not. It is not about that. It is for the purpose of ensuring that you grasp the true meaning and do not endure the anguish of a fear that is non-existent. Due to the fact that fear often paralyzes individuals, it is important to recognize that fear should not be the driving force behind one's actions as it hinders progress and limits personal growth. We are coming to an end of our class. And the phrase for today's class is, a good name with a purpose is worth more. So you must have a purpose, yeah? Of course, it is not the intention of God for you to have debts. But what I want you to understand is that if you can't afford something you need, it's better for you to have your name, yes, in the credit agencies so you can get your financial life back on track, so you can stay on the right path. But you can't settle for that, right? Don't lose your credit card because that can really come in handy in some moments. Having a credit card is a good thing, right? Don't lend your name and your card to anyone to buy liabilities. Now document here what I'm going to inform you about. Sufficient with requesting loans, correct? The initial step to escape from the difficult situation is to avoid making it worse, all right? I am hopeful that today you have made progress in achieving financial metanoia through the teachings in this class, all right? that you have understood that yes, it is possible to get out of debt in much less time than you imagine. Yeah, you simply have to know how to do it. 
That is the reason why you should check out Renan's testimony. In less than 60 days, I've been learning how the program has been helping me, along with my family, to improve our financial life. We were, I was in debt and could not perceive a glimmer of hope at the conclusion of the tunnel. In the past, we would patiently anticipate a miraculous gift from God, such as a pot of gold, which would enable us to settle our debts. I would often fantasize about this extraordinary occurrence, longing for the day when it would become a reality. Nevertheless, God sent the program, and through it, I gained the necessary understanding of how to overcome debt. In actuality, I have realized that attaining any goal requires perseverance and a willingness to confront challenges head on, and the program has been instrumental in our lives. It was a game changer because it enabled us to get out of debt, reducing our financial burden dramatically. In fact, we were able to pay off approximately 90% of our debts, which had a profound impact on our financial situation. Credit card, we reduced the credit card spending, overdraft and all that with guidance from the program. We acquired knowledge on investing, which for me was a daunting and complex task, and we gained expertise in investing. We gained knowledge on the utilization and generation of additional income, all under the guidance and instruction provided by the course. And it has been truly wonderful. Even in my spiritual journey, I gained valuable insights as I served as a shepherd for a church and struggled to fully appreciate its significance in my life. In the things you entered and even in the manner of helping people by offering, by donating and by providing assistance. And as I have been saying, it has been assisting me a great deal aiding the individuals near to me. So, like, the course is really good. I highly recommend it. It's where it made a significant impact in my life, you know. I have been acquiring a great deal of knowledge and I am optimistic that you will come over to that location and become an integral part of it. The reality is that I have a step-by-step -step method that truly works, both for regular individuals and, for example, for entrepreneurs in various industries. There are many testimonials, and I'll demonstrate that step by step in the Christian week. I manage my finances, all right? Here we are already starting this mindset change that you need. If you're having any financial trouble or just want to make money to start investing, you shouldn't miss the Christian week. I got my finances under control. The link is right down here in this video. After this class, you got to sign up for the Christian week for free. I got my finances under control. Phrase of the day, already spoke. Want to talk now about a word, one more word from God, a word from the Bible. Check out Jeremiah 29, 11. Jeremiah 29, 11, which goes like this. Why am I the person who knows the plans I have for you? This is what the Lord says to you. Plans to make them thrive and not to harm them. Plans to give them hope and a future. If you're concerned about financial problems, take a look at this. Strike a bargain with God. Establish a deal with God today. If you want to transform your financial life, if you desire to experience financial peace, start by affirming that I have peace within me. Write in the chat, I have peace. I'm super committed, super committed, and make a deal with God like this. Offer your sincerest apologies to him for the financial mistakes you have made thus far in your journey. It is a significant regret. You had better repent. You do not even have an understanding of the magnitude of those mistakes that you made. And indeed, there are numerous of those that you do not even know. And following that, communicate with God that you are prepared to acquire knowledge about his teachings for your financial life because you are aware that his teachings will enable you to thrive and they will not harm you. That is in the Bible. And sometimes in order to thrive, we need to go through the pain of learning. I have already experienced this pain. I am aware of his behavior. However, it took me a number of years to determine my errors. Yes, I have never experienced such a rigorous training program before. Look, my purpose is to demonstrate these errors as soon as possible. That is the reason I am present here. Eliminate fear from your life as fear does not originate from God. No, fear originates from the adversary of our souls who comes with the intention to kill, steal, and destroy. 
Now concentrate on the solution. And the solution originates from the word. It originates from the valuable teachings that he left us in the Bible. If you believe in the Bible, you must follow it. Concentrate on that education and you will have hope and a future just like he designed it for your life. I have faith in this. Do you have faith? Yes? Right in the chat, I believe, right? So reiterating today's class phrase, a good name with a purpose is of greater value. And do not forget to put together our puzzle using the keywords. I am going to talk about the keyword and its significance in our discussion. However, if we spread this positive message to individuals like today's class phrase, it is of utmost importance. And you can accomplish this through social media, such as your Instagram stories, yes, all right? The phrase of the day, a good name with a purpose is worth more. The class phrase, yes, indeed. So I will see you tonight in the class where I will show you in the next class the right mindset to have your finances under control according to the Bible. The class on how to have a prosperous mind will be an incredibly, unbelievably amazing class. Who's going to come back here with me in our next session? Write in the chat. That is great. Yes, yes. You are going to learn powerful biblical principles that maybe you have never even imagined, you know? And as I am saying today, when someone sees something, one cannot believe what they are witnessing. It is impossible to unsee it once you have laid eyes on it, isn't it? And my goal for tonight's class, right? It's akin to removing the blindfold and allowing you to perceive certain lessons that you hadn't seen before, thus expanding your understanding. An amazing learning experience, a truly cool learning opportunity. The phrase for today is that having a good name with purpose is worth more. And the key word for today is legacy, which signifies a lasting impact and influence. Team, kindly input the legacy keyword in the chat as requested for this task. Legacy, the inheritance that is passed down to future generations. Here in class, in this new moment, what am I currently doing and contributing to? I am transforming your mindset. And right there at the event during Christian week on our second stage, I am making an impact. Let's commence the business proceedings. Is it a yes or a yes? Affirmative? Is that what you desire? So prepare for the transformation you desire, that you require. What am I gonna do at this moment? To commence, generate an Instagram story mentioning cristianorico.ofc in your post. We will share all of the stories you create with our class along with the phrase that represents our class. Yeah, sorry. Two, also take a look at your invitation link. Let's share and invite a lot of people so that they can be blessed with biblical wisdom in their financial lives during this intensive program. And three, if you've missed the previous classes, they'll be up in the air for a few more hours. You will still have time to see them, correct? After there will be no more. So pay attention to this, okay? The team is gonna release a video after this very important class about some cases of people who changed their financial lives with the word of God. So excited to see you soon. See you in our next class. Goodbye. Wishing you God's blessings always. Two huge doubts in the banks that wouldn't let me sleep. I couldn't find a way out of it. I spent my time in depression and crying. I was really drowning in debt. I was a person who owed almost $200,000. I had a ton of debts for like 20 years. I was feeling down in the dumps. I started to let go, to leave behind the fears, to leave behind the doubts. I managed to free myself from everything, from that heavy and painful burden. I felt calm and confident speaking to the Department of Criteria and presenting them with my payment proposal. I've already paid off all the debts and I almost have this house completely bought. I have enough money now because previously I didn't have enough. I had six investments. Imagine getting rid of a $200,000 debt and on top of that, having something to invest now. It's awesome, thanks a lot. It's a total blessing. And I mean like a really big one, like huge. I'm happy because I'm free.